You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. Okay, yesterday, Mr. Matrix did a story about Tom Brady, some rumors of him trying to force a trade out of Tampa down to Miami. Now, the uh, the story was leaked by somebody that actually leaked him going to the Buccaneers, okay? Uh, so, there was definitely, he's, in fact, he's dropped several bombshell stories over the years involving the Patriots and people that have played for the Patriots. So, look, the guy had a pedigree of getting big stories right. Now, what I can tell you is, Tom Brady to the Dolphins, along with Sean Payton, was very real before he decided to announce his unretirement and come back to play for the Buccaneers, that Sean Payton thing, that Tom Brady thing, that was real, okay? Uh, in fact, I even heard that Chris Sims, and uh, I believe, said on his podcast the other day, Florio called the Dolphins, and somebody in the Dolphins said, yeah, we were trying to get Sean Payton down here. And Brian Flores, that situation is sort of what squashed that, Okay. You got a lawsuit against the club uh, alleging racism, and then uh, you're trying to just straight out hire a coach away from the Saints. They were trying to get Sean Payton away from the Saints. Now, we don't know if that's true or not uh, for sure, but, you know, if somebody's saying, hey, somebody in the Dolphins organization said, yeah, that's a thing. That was a absolute thing. And Tom Brady has got ties down there to somebody in ownership, a minority owner, and they were trying to give him minority ownership to come down to the Dolphins and play. Uh, Stephen Ross, Michigan alumni. Tom Brady, Michigan alumni. Okay, there's definite lines to draw down there. Uh, well, the story came out that Tom Brady was still trying to get to the Dolphins. Okay, and I think a lot of that is because he couldn't get to the Niners. And I still wonder if the Niners actually told him no again. Ian Rappaport squashes rumors of Tom Brady trying to force trade to the Dolphins. The Patriots seem to be struggling to add talent at the same clip as other teams in the AFC East. The Buffalo Bills adding linebacker Von Miller. Dolphins adding Tyreek Hill. And rumors were swirling it could get even worse for the Patriots. Former, former WEEI host and current Barstool blogger said he heard Brady was interested in forcing a trade from Tampa Bay Bucks to the Dolphins. Those rumors remain unsubstantiated, according to Athletics' Jeff Howe and NFL Network's Ian Rappaport. Quote, I haven't heard anything to corroborate any of that, honestly, Rappaport said on the Pat McAfee Show. Look, rumors happen. Sometimes I am a part of them, so I can't make fun of all the rumors. That's what drives all this. This doesn't make any sense. Brady is under contract with the Bucks. They have said definitively he's not going anywhere. Plus, if you remember correctly, he did recruit a couple of guys to sign back with Tampa, including his buddy Leonard Fournette, who was about to sign with the Patriots, by the way, including Chris Godwin, including several other free agents. Is he going to, Ryan, and is he really going to, Ryan Jensen came back, is he really going to do that and bail Plus, if we remember correctly, there was kind of a tampering thing that was part of the Brian Flores lawsuit involving the Miami Dolphins. So after all of this, after that allegation, which has not been proven, do the Dolphins then get him? None of this makes sense to me. So Ian Rappaport has come out, and he is shooting down this rumor, okay, that, was, that came out from this former WEEI guy, that's got a proven pedigree of getting big stories right, by the way. Okay, he was one of the first voices. I think he might have been the first or second guy that broke Tom Brady to the Buccaneers to begin with. Jeff Darlington was in there, too, by the way. Um, Darlington is real close with Brady's camp, and I haven't seen anything out of him regarding Brady to, to Miami. But Brady to Miami, Sean Payton to Miami, that was a real thing prior to Brady saying, I'm coming back and playing for the Bucks." okay? And do I think behind the scenes he was trying to force something prior to coming back? Yeah. Yeah, and then when it didn't work out, when he realized 
Tampa Bay is just not going to let you out. Then I think he was like, okay, I'm just going to come back and play for the Bucks. I don't think he ever wanted to retire. Tom Brady Sr. came out and said, look, the media leaking this whole retirement thing was premature. And I guess Tom Brady hadn't fully made a decision about whether or not he was going to play or not. But when the media started running with it, uh, somehow that that made Tom Brady feel like he was sort of forced into a corner of coming out and saying, look, I'm retiring. Now, when he retired, it was definitely a goodbye to the Buccaneers. In fact, he just left the Patriots out of that until a couple of days later and quite a bit of backlash, including Dave Portnoy losing his mind over it. Um, And then, actually, Brady and Portnoy had a conversation over it. So that was smoothed over, but you get the point, okay? It was very much, I'm done with the Bucs, and yeah... I think I'm done with football. We never bought it. On this channel, from day one, we said he's coming back. We thought it'd be to the 49ers. It wasn't. He ended up coming back to the Bucks. And, yeah, now that Leonard Fournette and these guys have already started signing with the Bucks to come back, I don't believe he's going anywhere. I don't. And I've got – I do think – I will say this. I do believe that when the combine was going on – And Tom Brady went to California to see his folks. He was about 30 minutes away from the 49ers facility. I do believe, in my opinion, I'm not saying it happened, but I do believe him and Kyle Shanahan met because Kyle Shanahan was not at the combine. He was still in California. So while all these NFL folks were in California, Kyle Shanahan and Tom Brady happened to be 30 minutes away from each other. I mean, Kyle Shanahan could have easily drove out to the the Brady house, the the parents' house, and they could have sat down and had a talk about Brady playing for the Niners. We don't know that for sure, but uh, there was speculation around that. Absolutely. So, leaving the Bucks, I don't think it will happen now. I don't. Uh, but I do think he tried. I I, I just. I think there was too much smoke there. When there's that many rumors, there is some truth somewhere in that from somebody. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.